Hello all. So, last time we did a little practical, we looked at the effect of adding washing up liquid to milk when we had some food colouring in it. And I had some really good replies telling me exactly about the science, which was brilliant. Today's video, I'm going to set up an experiment that involves eggs and vinegar. And you might be thinking, what's that all about? Well, let me show you. Today, you're going to need some eggs, some vinegar, and a container that you'll be able to hold them both in. Now, the vinegar that I'm going to use today is white vinegar. And this is a vinegar that's normally used to clean with. So it's sometimes used to clean glass and mirrors. You can use malt vinegar, etc., that you would find in your cupboards. But please be aware that you're going to probably end up using quite a bit. So you must talk to an adult before you attempt this practical. So now you're seven, we're going to get it set up. Now you may see that I've tied up my hair and that isn't because I'm worried about um, any hazard associated with the vinegar and my hair. It's more that if I do spill it, and I am clumsy, I'm going to smell like vinegar all day. Now in terms of the hazards around using vinegar, vinegar is an acid but it is a weak acid. That means it's not going to be very corrosive. That being said, if you have sensitive skin or eczema, when we get into the practical, you may choose to wear gloves and to avoid contact with the vinegar and your hands. If you do make contact with the vinegar and your hands, then you can just wash your hands. So let's get started. I'm going to add two eggs to my jar. Now I'm going to do this as carefully as possible because these are not boiled eggs. These are raw eggs that we want to dissolve the shell of. Now, I'm going to use two. I may remove one. I don't have that much vinegar and I do want them to be completely covered. So the next stage is I'm going to add my vinegar. Please note, Year 7, that this vinegar is not for consumption. It is cleaning. It is not purified enough for you to drink, so please do not. So I'm going to pour it over my eggs like this. And that's just about perfect. You can see that there is a little bit of my egg over the top of the level of the vinegar here, but I'm just gonna keep it as it is. Now, I want them to be covered as much as possible because I want to see the effect of the vinegar on the eggshell. Now, what you can see already is a reaction is taking place. And yes, seven, you should remember from our lessons that one of the key indicators that a chemical reaction is happening is that you start to see bubbles. And those bubbles show that a gas is being made. Now, in this reaction, what I'm hoping is going to happen is that the vinegar, which is a weak acid, is going to dissolve the eggshells. And the eggshells are made partially from something called calcium carbonate. I'm hoping that when the shells dissolve, I'll be left with something special at the end you will notice that I've had to change the container that I've put my eggs into. Now this was not done on purpose, but as you may see from the residue on my counter that my other container was leaking. But this one works quite well. I'm gonna cover up my eggs and vinegar because what I don't want to happen is the overall level of the liquid to decrease. And what might happen if I leave it open is that the water that's in the vinegar may evaporate. Now I'm gonna leave that here for about 12 hours. And so we're gonna pick this up tomorrow and see exactly what's happening. So here's a time I want to hear from you. What do you expect is going to happen? Do you think that the shell will be completely gone? And if so, what do you think will be left behind? I would really love you to email me or to comment on the Google Classroom post to let me know what you think is going to happen before the big reveal tomorrow. Hope to see you all soon and good luck.